J.K. Stewart Creative here, live in Finland. I always say that I'm live, knowing that by the time this is posted on my Facebook timeline, it is then a recording. Nonetheless, I am live here in Finland, and today is JFK Day. I've just wrapped up a wonderful day of lecturing. I was a guest lecturer at a school where Pai Vicky teaches here in Ekenes, Finland, and I was able to address uh, several groups of uh, students. Uh, the first two were English uh, students. They were English-speaking uh, Finns who were studying English. And by Vicky is their teacher. Uh, there I wanted to address and draw a parallel for them between the name Martin Luther King Jr. and Martin Luther. And of course, as you know, the history of Martin Luther King Jr.'s name is a very interesting one because his father, Martin Luther King Sr., was also a minister and during one of his visits to Germany, he learned of the name Martin Luther. He very well might have known of Martin Luther beforehand, but as history tells us, when he visited Germany and he returned to the United States, he then changed his name from Michael King and that of his son, Michael King Jr., to Martin Luther. And to his, son, his son's name, he changed to Martin Luther King Jr. So that's where Martin Luther King Jr.'s name comes from, and I wanted to draw that parallel for the Finns so they would know that Martin Luther King Jr. did not only just fight for the civil rights of African Americans, but for all Americans, and to draw a parallel for them as why is his name relevant to them, not only that, but also that his name is the namesake of Martin Luther, the founder of Lutheranism. Now, Martin Luther, of course, was a part of the Protestant Reformation, and he didn't seek out to find the name to uh, establish the name Lutheranism. But those who began to follow him, they began to use that name uh, to describe themselves. And so Lutheranism is approximately accountable for about, I think, 80, 89 percent of uh, Finns. So I wanted to draw that parallel for them. And uh, I also couldn't help but resist making it fun by referencing the fact that the letter M the 13th letter in our alphabet kept cropping up as I was doing my research and as I was presenting my own story, that of a boy who was born in um, Mississippi, excuse me, born in Missouri, went to Mississippi, matriculated in Mississippi. We were looking at Martin Luther, the name Martin Luther King Jr., Martin Luther King Sr. And so I wanted to uh, make M the letter, the sound uh, relevant to the subject matter that at, at hand, and so I did. So I made it a little bit uh, fun and quirky, despite the seriousness of the subject. So I wanted you to know that I'm still having a good time here in Finland. Um, just this past weekend, I visited a restaurant bar that um, we tend to have to go to because there's not much else to do here in this small southern town that's closed down for the winter. But that place that we've been frequenting Frequentine is known as uh, Santa Fe. And there I had the pleasure of meeting a um, local celeb. His name is Romeo, and he is a singer. I'm going to be learning more about him. He's actually from Africa. Uh, and I had to recently did a post on an African film that I wrote on moviepilot.com. There's a little plug for moviepilot.com. But nonetheless, I made the acquaintance of uh, Romeo. And I also had a chance to hear a DJ do some local spinning that was really, really impressive. So things continue to pop off despite the fact that it's still cold outside and the snow is still on the ground. I wanted to represent Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, proudly, and I attempted to do that. I also want to continue to represent my sister, who is a minister, a blessed person and continues to bless my family and continue to bless me even this far from home. So hello Tootsie and happy King Day to all of you in America. This is J.K. Stewart live from Finland. Peace out.